Let me tell you, it took a long time to edit this entire vlog using just the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, but that is exactly what we're doing in this video. I am using the Note 10 Plus from 0 to 100, filming the video, editing it in the gallery app, and I'm using the built-in gallery uh, video editor for this, and then also publishing this video on my YouTube channel using the YouTube app. One of the obvious things that I had to do was make sure I had my music, the chill hop that I generally use in my videos, available already. So I made sure to download an album uh, from Chill Hop uh, and get it on the phone so that I could use those tracks. So real quick, this is what that looks like editing in the gallery app. And I will chime in a few times a little bit later to let you know what steps I took to ensure I still got my style of video done using the Note 10 Plus. I really hope that that doesn't demonetize my video, but with all that said, uh, we are running around the California coast today, and I'm going to see if I can vlog with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, edit on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and publish using the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Welcome to a video made entirely using a phone. Right off the bat, here are a few things that I can't stand about this video editor. Uh, you can't really change the photo moves. So if you put in just a photo, it's always going to give you that uh, sort of opaque background or slightly transparent background. Uh, and then it'll do some weird Ken Burns thing with the actual photo in the middle, and you can't control that at all. So kind of a bummer. Also, every time I do a cut or an edit to any singular clip or photo, it'll always automatically play from the beginning and I have to pause it and scroll through the entire thing to get back to where I was. As you do, you don't really have much of a plan when it comes to just hangout days like this, but still vlogging where we are and now we're back at the Getty Villa. Uh, you might remember that I did a video a little while back using moment lenses on a Pixel 3a uh, so that you can get more perspectives, fit more into the frame, and uh, a place like a museum is a perfect example of that. Well, with the Note 10 Plus, you already have all those lenses. Speaking of the audio that I just downloaded, you can't do audio ducking with the music, which means that you can't lower the volume when something like dialogue is happening on the layer on top of it. So all of the music is at the same level, around maybe 20%, and that's what you're going to be hearing for the rest of the video. There are also a number of bugs that I was already noticing, and you probably already noticed just now, that uh, I tried to use the closed captioning in singular clips to tell you what kind of lens I was using, or which lens I was using in those particular photos. Obviously, it didn't work very well. That's one big bug that happened, and that's why after I used those captions, I stopped using them, because I noticed that it wasn't working very well. And here is a perfect example. The actual museum in front of us, and then I can move over to the left and show you the amphitheater seating. But then if I go to the wide angle, I could show you both. That's why a wide angle is dope. I based it in Who's that guy? <laughs> the zoom really helped with that just now. <laughs> All right, Wild Daniel Sin appears in the vlog today. Hey. Why are we going that way? <laughs> oh, the flowers. Simple edits. Just cut. Yeah. Spend most of my time on the East Coast in the future. Yeah. Yes. More calming, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Basically, my experience.
I suppose one of the things I could have done is use the live message inside of each photo to write down if it was wide or zoom or main. Uh, and that's something I could have done with each photo, but honestly, after that, I just didn't want to bother with it anymore. What do you think of the Getty Villa so far? It's crazy. Very symmetrical. Oh yeah. Young women. Wait, there are six. Huh? There are six. Oh wait, babe, can you take a photo of me being the six? Back on the glitch filter for the live focus video, front facing camera. Uh, there are a few little quirks about the camera package and the camera software here that I really enjoy. One of them is the fact that Samsung finally figured it out. People want to lock their focus. So instead of tapping on the screen, then hitting record and you lose your focus, uh, your focal point, uh, what you can do is actually tap on the screen and it stays there for a couple of seconds. And if you hit record, it will automatically lock to that point. Uh, that's something that I didn't really see in previous Samsung devices, but with this one, it's really nice. In the past, I would have to hit record and then tap on my focus point. That way it would lock the AF. Now, it's all just like more intuitive. Of course, one of the main features of the phone is the fact that you can use the S Pen to move around the camera app, not just use it as a remote shutter. So, I'm going to press stop on this video right now, move over to a photo, and this is what you get. And that final bit of publishing the video uh, to YouTube via the YouTube app is possible. Here's a clip of me actually uploading it, but I did not make that the main video that you're seeing on YouTube now because I still wanted to give you these bits of context in between. Not in a museum, because a museum's taken out of its natural setting. Mm -hmm. This is its natural setting. Oh. Found All right, uh, one final confession about this camera app. Um, one thing that I didn't realize when I was shooting a lot of my early video was that I actually had the steady shot on, and that explains why all of that footage is in 1080p. It still looks good, uh, and I'll probably have examples of it up right now just to give you some context. Uh, but yeah, the videos still look good. They're very stabilized, which is awesome. It's just that they were all in 1080p. I'm over here just like vlogging this and I'm over, I almost teared up. <laughs> Get over here. All right, man. This guy right here, my best friend who's been hanging out with us for the last couple of days, he literally just like, 
he pop the question? <laughs> so hard i didn't know when to do it <laughs> well this guy's getting married next year and he asked me to be the best man that is damn straight oh my god you, are... you know i'm gonna leave that as the end of this vlog screw it <laughs> that's it I'm... beer's on me let's go all right let's do this <laughs> And so there you have it, going from zero to 100 using only the Note 10 Plus. Is it possible? Absolutely. To get more control, you might need to move to something like Adobe Premiere Rush. But this shows you how much the Note 10 Plus is becoming a creativity tool as much as it is already a productivity tool. But from there, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Drop some likes on this video and then get into the comment sections and let me know what you think about the Note 10 Plus as a productivity tool and then a production tool, a video production tool as I presented in this clip. From there, you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and look forward to more Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus coverage. And until my next video, I will just remind you, to enjoy your tea, everybody.